and gentlemen, thank you so much for your great support, always. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Kenyans, you will not believe this. William Ruto has started to dare Kenyans. As you can remember very well, June 25th of this year. June 25th of this year. But now, seems like William Ruto has forgotten what happened on day 25th of June 2024. He is now bringing back the finance bill 2024-2025 financial year. According to the CS of Treasury, John Barry has come out to, into, to reintroduce the finance bill 2024 to the fullest. And in fact, I want to tell you the criteria that now William Ruto is using. He knows very well that now Raila akopa moja na e. Number two, anamini kwamba regarding the shagwa was part and parcel of this mobilization of young youths to storm the street. So removing regarding the shagwa and bringing in Kindiki Kiture is something that is going to save him. That is according to William Ruto. The number two, bringing Raila on board, there is a possibility of no Gen Z or any Kenyan coming out to demonstrate because of the punitive finance bill 2024. As I speak, John Bardi is reintroducing several taxes that were rejected by Kenyans. Look at the sanitary uh, sanitary parts uh, taxes, you know, uh, it was being listed under eco tax, you know, and Kenyans came out rejecting about that in totality. In fact, William Ruto withdrew the finance bill 2024. He dissolved the cabinet because of the same thing. But now he's bringing back the finance bill. As William Ruto, for him, he believes very well that nothing is going to happen because I'm a teka nyara kila upande. Anajua ako na parliament, anajua ako na opposition, anajua ako na judiciary, anajua ako na executive where he's the boss, and is trying to show you his middle finger. Muta do? What can you do? What can you do? And he is in control. On the same note, I want you to realize that William Ruto is behaving not like before. He's behaving as if this country is his. This country is his home, you know. And whatever he is doing is for his own interest, not the interest of the people. When the Gen Z stormed the street saying no to the finance bill, reject the finance bill 2024, 2025 financial year, remember William Ruto has forgotten very fast. And now what he is doing through the CS of Treasury, John Bardi, they are busy reintroducing the finance bill 2024, 2025. Because they know they fear nothing. They know very well those who are killed during the demonstration is none of their business. They know very well some issues that were raised by these Gen Z's was for them useless. But again, the question is, do you think that William Ruto will survive? Na hiki chua yake ngumu. Yenye wa Kenya wanamuambia, don't do this, he's doing. Don't do this, he's doing. I know some people will say, but a good, a good leader must direct or must lead. You know, but again, you, you can lead, but on a wrong direction. So for John Bad to come out to say that, it's just showing people who are so punitive, who do not listen to the people. It is them, and serving their own interests. And I believe for once, Kenyans, remember one thing. If Kenyans will come out and arise again, William Mutu will go home. I'm assuring you that. Even William Ruto will, will not reach 2027. Because Kenyans will be tired. They will say, enough is enough. Tunapita na Now William Ruto watakikisha kwamba meenda. And in fact, for the first time, you will be shocked as members of parliament will rebel against William Ruto. Because that will be just like a seal to the result of 2027. And so this reintroduction of Finance Bill 2024 
will not only damage the peace that has been there, but again will ensure William Ruto will go together with his Kindikis. You know? So bringing Kindiki in, bringing Raila on board, his ODM party, bring, giving them positions, you know, Kuteka Nyara legislature, judiciary, and now you want to do whatever you can do, is great for you. But I, I want to remind these individuals who are thinking that life is going to be so easy. It is not. The man is so determined to destroy you. The man is so determined to make Kenya poor so that his close allies after him can control this country. The man is so determined to destroy everything so that you can be a beggar and slaves before his feet. And if you are not going to open your eyes, then I'm assuring you, things are not going to be good on your side or, and on my side. If we are not going to decide on the right path to follow, I'm assuring you this. It is going to be messy and it is going to be noisy. Because I believe William Ruto akuna kiburi, William Ruto ana heshima na wa Kenya, and that is why everything that he, he does, it is about himself. It is about him and his thugs, you know. Which for me, sometimes I wonder, why is some Kenyans coming out to praise such a kind of a man who doesn't understand your interest? In fact, he has started also to fly from one country to the other. And now he has returned that um, flying activity on board. Because he understands Kindiki Kithure, awezi mbandua. Anajua msali ya mdavadi, pale luko, awezi mbandua. You know? Anajua several individuals. Sahi wenye umepanga kwa serikali yake, awezi mbandua. But I want to tell you, if something that William Ruto will make as a blunder is to bring and reintroduce the Finance Bill 2024. And if Kenyans will plan themselves to storm the street, William Ruto will go home. It will be so massive and it will be dangerous for William Ruto. In fact, it might be so peaceful, but Kenyans will decide not to get out of roads. Kenyans will, not, will decide not to get out of CBD, Nairobi, capital city of Nairobi of Kenya, Nairobi, they will ensure that William Ruto must bow. Because I've realized the man don't care. Now, John Badi is bringing new, the same finance bill. What I end up with the National Assembly because on a job on members. Now, in fact, what a petition? Now, it's a way to go. Ruto is going to be a good one. Muta do what? What can you do? Nothing, because he's in power. He controls everything. So it is so, so sad that now William Ruto is bringing back Finance Bill 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Despite of Gen Z's being killed because of this Finance Bill, now he's bringing it back. What do you think? Nikiburi ama mutu ana heshima kwa Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.